Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a full review video of the Wicked Sensations ROM on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. Right away, I want to give a shout out to my man, Dazed and Confused. Big shout out to him. This is his first ROM. He's been doing a lot of theming, but I do want to give him a big shout out and congrats, as I did in my how-to video. And I do have a video showing how to install this ROM. I can link to that in the description of the video. But let's go ahead and jump into it. As you can see, Wicked Sensations right there. It's an ice cream sandwich based ROM. It is based off of a Touch Wiz, Touch Wiz ice cream sandwich, actually. It's FE22, leaked ice cream sandwich, Android 4.0.4. .4. Let's go to menu and go to settings and we will go to about phone and see that Android 4.0.4. .4. Uh, Wicked Sensations FE22 going on right there. So there you have it there. Um, you, one thing you'll notice about this ROM is it's, it's themed fully. I mean, it has pretty much everything is themed. So you will definitely notice that it's really cool. Um, so far, I like it a lot. Uh, so here we go. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Right away, you'll see you have two launcher options, Apex Launcher and ADW Launcher. So ADW Launcher is, of course, a launcher you can get from the, uh, the Play Store. So here we go, that's what it is. It's basically got your three icons, but it, it does have a bunch of different uh, settings. You can actually have five icons at the bottom. You can have uh, vertical uh, app drawer as well. You don't have to have the horizontal ones. And you have Apex Launcher, which is basically, uh, it is themed, as you can see the app drawer button is themed, but it is just like the stock ICS Launcher Ice Cream Sandwich Launcher. So uh, if you do like that launcher, you do have the option with the Apex Launcher. So. Otherwise, let's go ahead and check out the dialer. As you can see there, let's, uh, it's actually a very cool uh, themed dialer. Uh, buttons work great. I don't know if an outgoing call is going to work. My number's not on my phone, but a lot of people do like to see this in-call screen. So there you have it. There's the in-call screen. Um, so a lot of people ask to see that in some of my reviews, so I'm going to go ahead and grant that wish for you guys. Up at the top, though, up in the uh, status bar, you'll see you've got blue icons up at the top. The signal bars actually look kind of like the Motorola Photon on stock signal bars, uh, the blue. There's six of them, um, as you can see. Uh, I've got a blue Wi-Fi icon going on up at the top here. Notification panels, we've got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, silent, and 4G bunch of different icons there all themed very cool um, you got these toggle styles when you tap on them it turns on it's got that nice blue glow as well you can turn them on and off so very awesome there um, I really do like those icons a lot probably one of my favorite icons on any ROM so um, you got a black themed pull down bar other than that it is not see-through I can't see through it you'll see wicked sensations down at the bottom as well so overall a very cool themed notification bar there great job there by dazed and confused so there you have it. anyone else involved as well um, big shout out to team venom venom as well everyone else that was uh, involved in getting this ROM going on you do also have that battery modification that shows percentage as well um, you'll see actually up at the top it's got two percentages I don't know if you can tell or not but the battery um, itself has an 80 inside of it and below it it has a percentage to get rid of that second percentage down below it uh, what you can do is actually go into settings so go to menu system settings and then go to display I believe and under display you should see some option somewhere um, I cannot remember where that is where is the uh, battery percentage so maybe it's under sound I don't know why it would be under sound but uh, it's not it's got to be under display sorry about this guys um, uh, clock and weather position, no uh, brightness. I'm probably just really, there it is. Oh my gosh, I totally overlooked it. Display battery percentage, so sorry about that. Just uncheck that and you'll see you only have one now up at the top there. You don't have that one underneath it, so uh, there you have it there. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry for the uh, delay. I totally uh, just blanked there, but uh, otherwise the settings menu uh, is fully themed. You'll see all these different icons over here. Um, even the toggles over here are themed. They, they look really cool as well. Overscroll glow goes very well with the theme. Got that nice blue tinted overscroll glow as well. Um, so uh, overall, really great. Um, it's FE22 leak, ice cream sandwich leak, so it's very similar to that. You do have face unlock. Just go to security and you should have screen lock. 
face unlock is right there. So you do have that as well in case you were wondering. So other things, the messaging application is themed. So let's go ahead and uh, try it out. Um, 46453, my message isn't gonna send because my number's not on my phone as I said. So, uh, but you'll see it is themed. So a very cool themed messaging application as well. I always like it when the messaging application is themed. Uh, it does have the hotspot hack. Um, and 4G hack, so you can use the native hotspot application found in your app drawer. Let me go ahead and find it for you guys. It should be called Sprint Hotspot right down there. Um, just go ahead and use that if you'd like to tether with on 3G or 4G, your choice. It works for both. You'll see a lot of different applications. You have the Flipboard app from the S3, you got S Voice as well, and we can go ahead and try that out. It should work just fine. Um, about S Voice, I'm gonna skip this stuff. What's the weather like in Chicago, Illinois? There you have it. Got some weather in Chicago, Illinois. I do have a video uh, demonstrating this. I can actually link to it in the description. I got some other things that you can say to it and such. But there is S Voice that comes on the from the Galaxy S3 device um, that I'm sure you guys are familiar with. So it comes with that. It does work just fine, as you saw right there. Uh, looks like you got a My UI music player. Um, which is right here. So um, you've got the My UI music player. You got all songs here. Looks like you've got your alphabetical list. You've got uh, artists, albums, all that good stuff. So uh, very cool. It is themed as well as you saw. You got a My Files application that looks themed. It is themed as well. You got that nice blue color to it. My yearbook. I'm not sure what that is. I haven't uh, haven't actually tried it. Um, you have a couple of widgets as well. I'll get to those in a second. Uh, task manager, all these uh, icons as well are themed as you saw. So it looks like you've got all these nice blue tinted uh, themed icons going on. So it ve goes very well. There's none that really stand out. Dolphin Browser Mini, my guess is that application is even themed. It is. Um, it's probably one of my favorite browsers on Gingerbread. I do like the Chrome Beta browser, but it doesn't work on the Epic 4G Touch. So it is inverted actually. So you got a nice dark theme to it. So definitely try out this Dolphin Browser Mini. It actually looks great. Along with it being inverted so with the black it should help save battery as well of course so um, there you have it there you got dolphin browser mini all themed uh, cal calendar is inverted as well you'll see a lot of these applications are inverted calculator going on very cool themed calculator as well uh, let's go to the native browser um, so you've got that of course the stock touch was browser working just fine as well I do recommend the dolphin browser mini though so you'll see message not sent of course as I said my number's not on this device so um, there we have it there. Camera application works just like normal actually. So there we go, just took a picture going on there. Um, let's go ahead and test out some other things. This is actually very cool. I like all these additions, um, all these theming. You'll see voicemail application is themed, the icon anyway. You have titanium backup going on, Tesla LED, which will turn on your LED light in the uh, the back of the phone. So let's go ahead and try out some of these widgets. You can press and hold on the home screen, go to widgets if you want, or in your app drawer, you can go to them. You'll see you have uh, Sense 4 and Sense Flip Clock. So if you like the, the Sense style clock, you have those widgets included. Um, so if you do like those, you do have those options going on, which is great. Lock screen wise, you'll see you do have the CRT screen off animation as well. Uh, you have the stock ICS lock screen. You'll see you can go to camera or unlock either one of them straight from your lock screen. You can pull down the notification bar as well. Um, so there you have it there. To take a screenshot, volume down, power button at the same time, press and hold them. Takes a screenshot for you. That's pretty much on every ice cream sandwich based device. Uh, other than that though, I mean this ROM feels very smooth as you guys can tell. I mean no lag whatsoever running through doing all this stuff. So uh, definitely a ROM you're going to want to check out if you have an Epic 4G Touch. Uh, it does have ACS recovery so I do kind of want to get that. Oh one more thing I just kind of noticed it has a removed status bar clock. So it does not have a status bar clock up there in case you were wondering. So um, I just kind of noticed that. I, I, I just realized that it didn't have one. So. Um, there you have it there. You did remove that, so you might want to have a clock on your home screen. So, uh, of course, uh, it's obviously personal preference how you do like those. But let's go ahead, and what I do want to show you guys, it does come with a, a custom recovery baked in, but you don't want to flash any ROMs with it. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and hit the restart button and hit restart recovery and hit OK. What that's going to do is take me into our custom recovery. It's actually ACS recovery repacked with it. 
which is uh, a very cool recovery that I, it's one of my favorites, of course, so um, it's uh, the FE22 kernel repacked with it, but you want to make sure you don't flash any ROMs with this recovery. Do not flash any ROMs. I do want to just kind of make a note about that. I didn't even notice if there was the power, uh, the boot animation, the, the shutdown animation. So um, if you guys saw that, I, I didn't even pay attention. So sorry about that. I should have been. But you'll see ACS recovery going on right here. This would be ACS recovery based on Clockwork Mod 5. So uh, don't flash any ROMs with this. You can flash add-ons and such if you need to. But uh, yeah, you've got. Uh, I just wanted to show you that you did have this and make sure you do not flash any ROMs with this volume up and down power button. As always, you can reboot system, reboot recovery. So I'm gonna reboot the system, it'll boot me back up. So uh, that would be the full rev review video of the um, of the Wicked Sensations ROM on my Epic 4G Touch. I wanted to hear from you guys though. Let me know what you think. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. Be sure to subscribe as well. Click that subscribe button. And thanks for watching, guys.